Welcome back, everyone, to Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, we did some side quests in the last part. Just trying to get that level up. Trying to get some uh, collectibles. Let's go ahead and do Herbology class, and then we'll go talk to Natty after that. Um, I have been really uh, enjoying this game. I do need to get back to the other projects that I have going, but... Fortunately, my recording windows are very limited and small, so I sort of have to play the hot hand sometimes. This game has uh, done better on the channel for me than any other so far. In terms of like total retention time and, and things like that. Um, I did notice that most of my viewership comes from non-subscribers. So... If you watch this and uh, you enjoy it, please hit that subscribe button. It really means a lot. To see those numbers go up. Alright, it's time for Herbology class. Let's do it. But yeah, hit that subscribe button and that like button if you would be so kind. Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, A little treat for your auntie. Ah, oh, hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bulb. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. <laughs> now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. Okay, this is going to start screaming, isn't it? Jesus. Quickly! Place your mandrake in the new pot and cut down the soil! Ali! The soil should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Oh, good thing I'm they can do that. Sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. From my new favorite uh, professor. For reasons we're we'll getting to. Now, for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our potting tables. You can all get started. I need to have a brief. Hmm. I wonder if hippogriffs like mock grass. Hello. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful! A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. It wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Okay. Let's see how to balance my star. I think you can have one of these in your own like room. I did buy one, I thought, or the blueprint for one. Potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. 
Okay, the leaves of this medicinal herb are used in Wiganweld Potion. Dittany seeds can be purchased at the Magic Neep and can be grown in pots of any size. Okay. Well done! Once it can be harvested, your Dittany will be ready to use in Wiganweld Potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Hence the name, uh, Chomping Cabbage. Hey, buddy. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Gryffindor. Nice I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese Chomping Cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there. But, your lead. We don't like Gryffindors in this house. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. Here we are. Home of the... Go on. Grab a few of those cabbages. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it. And they'll do the rest. I guess I'll pick them all up. Oh. Huh? Look oh, at that. shit. They'll chomp on anything they can get their uh, mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone. Well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. Uh, I suppose sure. they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos <laughs> out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. All right, Take your time. let's head back to uh... back class. Oh, I guess it knackered off. So I got a couple of them now I can use. Combat is tough in this game, I will say. Very tough. There's just so much going on. I'm gonna steal all their crap. All right. There's a lot of buttons, a lot of like that switching and reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves. I shall end up I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. As am I, plants offer so much. I don't care much your plants, honestly. That'll be nice. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Yes, ma'am. Oh, did you know? Yeah, like five minutes. Are really relishing their new pots. Only cost me my damned hearing. <laughs> Alrighty, so new quest available: potions class. So I would like to attend all the classes that I can before I start venturing out, because I feel like it's it's worth it in the long run. I mean, we've, we're like two, three hours into this game already, and 
We uh, have not gotten like into the open world aspect of this at all. Shouldn't that be all or someone from the ministry guarding the school after the incident? Well, I don't see Snape around anywhere, so that's a good thing, I guess. I did actually go back and watch the first Harry Potter last night. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld Potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Okay, literally no inst I guess we got an instruction booklet. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. Okay. Stir this bad boy. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And so for all your recent honest. exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Well, good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain and will require you to be a bit more resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Okay. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a Did I hear Professor Sharp what? say that you have permission to go into his office? He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. Oh, boy. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say oh, so Weasley. myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single Thwooper Feather, as you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. Oh, sure, why not? I'll get you the Thwooper Feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Thwooper Feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Might as well get into a little mischief. A well prepared ritual is an always as a few potions on hand. <laughs> um memoran memorandum date thirty first of december eighteen seventy five from Aurora, Aurora office. Subject Borgen and Burks. Morgan and Burks has had an increased amount of activity outside of ordinary shop hours, 
particularly in the wee hours of the night, with suspicious deliveries being made to the shop's back entrance. Given what we know of the shop's reputation, we are adding more auroras to join those that have already been watching the shop. You are amongst the new additions. Further instructions to follow. Just looting the snop. I feel like he's gonna miss this giant purple feather, dude. I think that's it. Your potion should not be that color, Miss McDowell. Here's the flopper feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Endurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Gotta blow himself up or something. Should you chop the Didney or crush it? The wrong answer could result in the unfortunate loss of your eyebrows. <laughs> So we don't have to do a little mini game every time we uh, brew a potion, then, right? That makes sense. So we've done it about. And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Uh -uh. Yep. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. Oh, mine's done. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor again. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. I brewed an Adurus potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. Uh, whatever. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. As as being the honest is better. At your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. Okay. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. Fucking Weasleys. That was an interesting class. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. I heard him talking about taking responsibility. Professor Sharp was annoyed, but we sorted it out. No harm. Cheers to that. He probably had a good chuckle after we left. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. <laughs> Next time we talk, I promise. Fewer explosions. Ugh, and Weasleys. Ugh. My robes are going to reek from inspiration for the rest of term. Okay. So that got us completed with all of that goodness. So now all we have to do is uh, meet with Natty in Lower Hogsfield. She's in like a fast travel point because... Oh, piss. No. Oh, I guess we're walking it, boys. That's fine. Get to explore this a little bit. I got some glasses. Or spectacles, as you might call them. I'm 
transverse. Ugh. What am I missing? Hello. I, I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Are there any other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. Okay, um, perhaps I'll have a look. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Do come and find me if you stumble Let's on something sure illuminating that's all... Revelio. Discover the painting secret. So there's butterflies and one of them is moving. Hmm. All right. Well, we'll just keep that uh, side quest to us for now. We might um, come back to that later. It's good to pick up side quests along the way, you never know. It's probably some ungodly um, puzzle that I'll never be able to solve. Loading door. That is so awkward. It was loading for her as well. The NPCs have a loading screen. I accidentally dropped a flobber worm down my boat. Can I like levitate this guy? No. If I see any flowers that I can pick up and harvest, I'm gonna do that as well. I really like to get my damn broom. Beast's classroom. That class would suck in the winter. I don't know what the moonstone will do, but I'll have to start crafting potions at some point. I'm so used to playing on PlayStation, every time I see X to pick something up, I press A and jump like a idiot. What in the world? I'm just shooting everything. Okay. Revelio. I got some freaking distance on that jump. Whoop. All right. Yeah, man, she's still 200 meters away. Not on Earth. Leave him alone. Anything in here? Uh, 
Elegant uniform. I wonder if that arrow means that it's better than what you currently have, because... Let's see. Oh, yeah. Switch spectacles real quick. I don't really care about cosmetics. All I care about is my stats. It's better or worse? It's slightly better. Put that on. It looks a little more... It looks a little better than the... Um, than the quitted uniform. Rebellion. Let's say... Groundskeeper's tools. One might surmise that this set of tools could be enchanted to create all sorts of furnishings for a cozy hut. As large as the occupant may need. Huh? Another chest. Some coins. Okay. It's another route outside. Okay. This looks intriguing. That was worth it. I got a little better gear. Ah, oh, damn it. She came all the way out in the fucking... Let's see what this is real quick. I'll pick up a side quest while I can. Some assistance. Hello. Hello. Can I help you? Oh, thank goodness. Yes. My name is Grace Pinch Smedley. Of the Bath Pinch Smedleys? I was hoping someone would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You see, I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Might you be the one to help me? An underwater adventure sounds like fun. Diving into the lake sounds like an adventure. Tell me more. Splendid. Precisely the response I'd hoped for. What do you need help retrieving? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. I'm so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrally vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. Okay. What exactly is an astrolabe? It's an astonishing ancient navigational tool. Essentially a handheld model of the universe. It's mainly used for studying the stars, astronomical pursuits, but it has nearly a thousand uses. Fascinating device. Sadly, I'd imagine it's rusted beyond repair now. Still, we'd love to have it returned to us. It would be like getting a bit of my grandparents back. You seem to think I might have heard of the Bath Pinch Smedleys. Why would I know your family? That's like asking why the sky is blue or grass is green. The Pinch Smedley name is synonymous with intellectual curiosity. We are known for our contributions to science and art. I'm surprised you haven't heard of us, frankly. But with all I plan to discover about the world around us, those that don't yet know the name certainly one day will. Uh. Mm, it sounds dangerous. Especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand. But I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and tide schedule. My best guess schedule. is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. I do hope you find the astrolabe. It would mean so much to our family. It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see. Another quest over there. Um.
I guess. Let's see if I can do this real quick. I wonder. Incendio. Oh. Look like something that could be lit, but maybe not. That's disturbing. Is that like a stamina bar or anything? This must be where the pinch Smedley family astrolabe is. Oh, okay. So it's just as simple as searching these things. I thought I was gonna have to swim and manage my breath and everything else. Hey, actually this might not be a bad quest, gaining all this extra gear and stuff. That A I can sell, or B might be better than what I've got, so. Oh, nice. I, I found it. Know that I found her family astrolabe. Alright. I'll swim back to her, see if I find anything else of note. Top hat was better than what I got as well. So de definitely the side quests are worth your time. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um, there's a big fucker over there, and I can't necessarily defend myself in the water, so. What if I just give him a good... Well, whatever. Well, I should have should have walked around, eh? I got your stupid thing. Ah, right. hello, Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible! Did you find the astrolabe? I could. No, I'll just give it to her. I did. I hope it makes your father happy. It will. I can't wait to see his face. Thank you so much for doing this for me. And for my family. You do well to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. A diver of your caliber is certain to find all sorts of things down there. Oh. Thank you again. And I do hope you keep diving. You certainly have a knack for finding treasure. Hey, I got a face mask. Let's uh, sort through some of that gear I picked up real quick. See what's better, see what's not. I leveled up, though. Hmm. That's up seven, nice. Okay, and they look pretty cool, too. Um... They look a little better. No. Uh, well, whatever. Holy hell. I mean, that looks goofy as all get out, but... <laughs> whatever. Or level 9. Oh. I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would pardon me. Is everything alright? I took Hardly. a bad angle when I, I just lost my cutscene. business and almost my life. You'd best look elsewhere for wares. I've nothing to sell now. Oh, I never thought it'd come to this. Be on your guard. Ramrock and his loyalists will spare no one. They attacked you. Oh, Ramrock has no patience for goblins who won't join him. While I too would like to see goblin kind treated by wizards as equals, bloodshed is not the answer. When I said as much, they turned on me. Struck me till I nearly passed out. 
took my carts, my belongings, even that which is most precious to me, my paintings. Are you a painter? You mentioned that your paintings were taken. Are you a painter? I am. It's my calling, though most would think it an unusual path for a goblin. Most of my family work in metal or associated with Gringotts. I'd wager my finest brush that Ramrock's lot have no appreciation for any of my work and it'll be tossed aside for kindling. Without my carts and my livelihood, who knows when I'll be able to paint again. Has Ranrock's lot ever attacked you like this before? They've been taunting and threatening me for a while now. But they've always believed that violence is the only way to get what they want. Things have taken a much darker turn of late. Ramrock is getting more powerful and his loyalists know it. They feel untouchable. Ramrock assumed that all goblins would agree to follow him. But he was wrong. Many of us would like a diplomatic end to the discord with wizard kind. All right, I'll keep an eye out. I'm sorry this happened to you. I shall certainly keep an eye out for your cards. That is very kind of you, but I think they took them to their camp southwest of here. Just past some ruins. Too dangerous to try and retrieve them. Probably not a high enough I level to the cards to return guys. to me if I ever lost them, however. Slim though the chances may be. I'm holding out hope that some of what was taken is returned to me. It was nice meeting you. <laughs> I wish it had been under better circumstances. I saw some, uh... After what Ranrock did to that goblin banker at Gringotts, I shouldn't be surprised at what happened to Arn. Alright, so let's just, uh, we picked that up. I mean, we can get it whenever. Um... <sighs> Some merchant. Hello, sir. What do you sell here? Hello. I'm Jalal Semi, and this is my potion shop. I can answer any questions you have about the town. What do you have for sale? Let's see what he's got here. What can I help you with today? Might just sell some of this stuff, because I'll have no trouble selling this. Thank you. I've gotten, you know. So those are better. So I'll probably equip those. Let's see. It's a hundred. Hmm. Ah, yes. A wonderful choice. All right. I hope to see you again sometime. I'm gonna put on those quitted glasses real quick. He hitting the wrong button. I look, I look totally stupid. <laughs> That's fine. That's an RPG you're supposed to, right? Let me, let me just do the uh, natty quest and uh, get out of. I mean, well, side quests are fun, but. Do I have any, uh, letters? Okay. I've already opened all these, so, no. I heard the letters are very, very important to keep an eye on, so. Hmm. Seems a pleasant enough little place. <sighs> it is good to see you, my friend. Hello. Hello, Natty. How are you? I hope you've recovered from our rather eventful trip to Hogsmeade. I am well, but I have been worried about you, my friend. With Ranrock and Rookwood and Harlow after you? I'm all right at the moment. We did not speak about it at the time, but I am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you. Uh, I'll just be honest with her. They something that Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? Just before we came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A port key brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. Is that the magic you used fighting the trolls in Hogsmeade? I think so. I'm still learning, but I can see traces of it, and I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to absorb. It is. 
And I will have more questions. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us, to all of us, which is why I wanted to speak to you. I realized something that day in Hogsmeade. You displayed such courage fighting that troll, and Serona wasn't intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Okay. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair on their own, and the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Nathan. I like her. <clears throat> Be on your guard. I beg your pardon. How dare you threaten me? What's going on here? Okay, someone's about to get their ass kicked here. They must have come this way. Think! I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood, don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. What do you know? Students, you can't be so... <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupid Hanging in here, not mine. Incendio. He's gone. I'm trying to get better at my combos, too. Oh boy, he looks a little tougher. Oh, watch the light go out of your Or she eyes. looks a little tougher. Sorry. Uh, the collection section of your field guys has updated new enemy types. Okay. Oh boy. Uh, she hit kind of hard. Problem is, is like she was so she was red, right? What on earth just happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner, then so close to Hogwarts. So she was in, the problem with um, Incendio is that distance is very limited. Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders. Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. Um, who is Priya? You mentioned someone named Priya. Yes, Priya. my wife. She's the one who piqued my interest in Merlin, gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Typical hard-working Hufflepuff, brilliant potioner, has her own shop in Nocturn Alley. She's a traveling vendor, hears what's going on in the Highlands before I do. You're a researcher? Nora Treadwell at your service, historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. Thought Merlin was a myth. I thought that Merlin and the tales about King Arthur's court were a myth. Mere myth? <laughs> You're lucky Sir Cadogan didn't hear you. 
chatters on endlessly about his connection to Merlin from his portrait at Hogwarts. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Sweet is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. Sure, why not? I brought a trunk chock full of mallow sweet with me. It's just over there by my tent. This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the mallow sweet. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the mallow sweet on the swell, and we'll see what happens. Um. Oh. I thought I had to place them on the... Okay, never mind. Easy enough. See that? The vines disappeared. What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. Incendio. Merlin's beard! The flames make the pyre sink. I knew I was on the right path earlier. Oh, that's a good uh, little thumbnail right there. Hang on a second. Okay. So, let's just finish this up and then I'll wrap it up. So this is going to be like an hour long episode, which is fine. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swell on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require mallow sweet, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. And do be careful out here. Now, I've got what I needed. I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. Okay, cool. Trials of Merlin. Different challenges offer different rewards. Complete Merlin's trial challenges to increase your gear capacity. Okay. This game is gorgeous. Greetings, young Slytherin. Scrope knows about the old book you found for Professor Fig. Scrope can help you. And you can help Scrope. Get to the courtyard past the pendulum. If you don't know it, you'll see it easy enough. And don't tell anyone what you're up to. And especially Professor Black. Okay. So. Uh, I'll probably wrap this up here. And we'll do that in the next part. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to wrap this up. 
for today. This is an hour episode. I just uploaded part six. This will be part seven. So we are cruising right along with this game. I think we're only like 5% complete in challenges. That's fine. Quests. Anywho. So please, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Really means a lot uh, to see that number increase. And hit that like button too. Um, but until next time, peace out.